of you that haven't tuned in uh, before, the 127 garage sales is the world's longest garage sale. It goes from Michigan to Georgia, uh, all along Highway 127. And it's always the first weekend in August. So if you're anywhere near around 127 uh, and you got some stuff to sell or you like to shop garage sales, every year 127 garage sales, uh, you can find them all along that road. So right outside of Brian, there's one. So no, we're not stopping there though. I'm not stopping until Tammy tells me to. I'm not really looking for anything. I got sheds full of stuff. I, I really have so much stuff. We have an entire room and a couple sheds full of antiques. And I don't, there's nothing I really need right now. I have a few projects I'm still working on. So it's going to take something pretty special for me to purchase anything at all. But Tammy's looking for what? What are you looking for? She'll know it when she side. sees it. Yeah. I mean, I'm always looking for some things. Like flower pots and everything. You know, little things that I use a lot of. Okay, so we'll show you when we find the first one we get to. Uh, we're in Ohio. Like I said, this is the longest uh, garage sale in the world. So, I just like seeing all the cool stuff, traveling, spending time with Duke and Tate. So, just north of Bryan is this Goldie Newman Park. Uh, and we pulled in here just to see what it was. Um, and there is a trail, so I don't think it's very long. It looks like somebody mows it. Williams County uh, 1973 so let's check out the park and let Duke run around a little bit and wear out some energy oh yuck somebody's whitey tidies there's a pair of whitey tidies but pretty cool trail huh I mean it's all Got stuff on both sides. Come on, dude. All right. I don't want this to be too long, so uh, we'll bring you back if there's anything interesting on the trail. It says no hunting real big. I think there's a lot of deer back here. Oh, I'll go pick up the cigarettes. Crab apples. That's good in cider. A few crab apples. So not paved, but pretty easy to walk, right? Yeah. I didn't realize this, but my sister lives in the Cuyahoga National Park area up in Akron, uh, Cleveland area. And she says it's really uh, hilly. It's like the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, which I also didn't realize. So uh, she said that there's some trails back there with waterfalls. So we're gonna go check that out at some point. Oh babe, go stay with her. That'd be fun. Uh, probably later this fall or whatever. And we also have um, Tennessee coming up. We're going to Tennessee towards the end of this month and then we're also doing the Wizard of Oz uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland experience which is like an escape room that they do in uh, bigger cities here in the, later in the fall. 
uh, towards October. So stick around for that. Make sure you hit that uh, like button for this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, uh, go check out some of our playlists. Play some of our playlists. We could definitely use right now. So don't know if they're poisonous or not, but definitely some blue berries along this trail. So crab apples and blueberries we found. A lot of pretty uh a lot of pretty plants. I'm not sure how thick this is, you know, from one side to the other, but this trail just goes and goes and goes and goes straight back. And I'm not sure what it does after that, but we'll let you know. Cause that's the direction we're heading right down there. I think you can see where it does something. Turns or I'm not sure. Okay, well. It opened up to a pond and like a gazebo type thing. Pavilion. Pavilion. Yeah, pavilion. Let's go check this out. Maybe there's some more trails too, it looks like. Wow, crazy. Like it's all open back here. There's a trail that goes off that way. Pavilion renovation completed in 2013 by the Eagle Scouts. Eagle Scout Bronson Beck. Oh, cool. So, he restored this in 2013. It's pretty back here. Wow, you could... I don't know what you could do, but you could do something. Just hang out back here, huh? So, such a big area you could play. Looks like there's a trail over there. Just explore this whole area. This is really cool. Who knew? That's got flowers and stuff over there in that trail area. Team's going to check out the water. Let's see. Ooh, there's fish. I can see them hitting the water. What? Pretty clear too. Look how clear the water there. is. A couple little fish over there. Don't go in there. I don't need you getting muddy. Yeah, they're hitting the water everywhere. You see them. Does it say no fishing? We'll have to check when we go out. Like bring a wagon and pull the stuff out. Have to out. Need the point. We don't see any spot for a fire out here. No cooking area. No grills, no fire spots. You'd have to bring like a portable grill if you were gonna cook. But I tried this little side trail right here and see where it goes because there's a lot of pretty flowers up here. And just kind of see what these side lots do. We stopped at like three garage sales, but um there's just, so. yeah, 127 turn back there, and we went a little north of it. And there's still garage sales up here. Um, we're actually heading back to 127 now. Look at these things. They look like green beans. Only they're attached at the bottom. It's wild. But, um, this end of it? Oh, no, there's more. Whole crazy trail, this is awesome. But um they just they didn't look like anything we wanted to go to. We just kind of stopped and left. Now there's mulch on the ground, so I don't know if this used to get wet or what. I'm trying to keep it from flooding maybe. A pine tree, beautiful. Another crab apple tree. Something humming in there. Another little trail right there. They're attempting to make. Now, how long did it only took us what maybe five minutes to walk back that trail? Yeah. 
So you'd have to park up there, but you could park multiple cars there and never want to go back to that pavilion for sure. You'd have to hike everything back, whatever you're using. Well, this is nice. I had no idea this was here. Did you? No. And it doesn't look like anything when you pull in. But there's definitely a lot, of, lot to do here. There's the pond because there's cattails. This kind of meadow area. There's a monarch. And then the little meadow area. It's beautiful. This is so nice. I think every town should have something like this. The monarch was like getting ahead of us right down the trail and then we got so far ahead it came back and checked up on us. Flew right up to my face. It's like, where are you guys at? Come on. This is the trail down here, guys. I think we're walking all the way, yeah, because that's the other side where we came in at, where that tower is. So this trail here goes all the way around the pond. Yeah, see, now we're on the other side. There's the pavilion. Oh, there's a frog. See, we know we're going the right way because the monarch butterfly is leading the way. Right there it is. Now over here on this side of the trail, it opened up. They mow this whole top of this bank. It's a big old area of wide open spaces. And it looks like they've planted a few shade trees. Hopes for the future. All right, Mr. Monarch, show us the way. Are we going the right way, buddy? He's just tagging along, or we're tagging along with him, I guess. This is his home. I hear you. Is that a bat, I think. So the only thing we saw was there are holes. This isn't paved or anything, so. Well, that's a black and blue and yellow, but that one's pretty too. But there are holes, so you're paying attention to all the beautiful uh, creation around, and uh, you you step in a hole, and that's a little dangerous. So you got to kind of pay attention to where you're walking. Hi, right, Tammy. Yeah. How many holes did you hit? Three. <laughs> We're on our way out, and the monarch. You probably can't see it's down there, probably 30 feet, but it was right here popped out of nowhere, kind of fluttered in her face, and now it's heading back towards the pond. So just right off the road, and there's plenty of parking here. You could definitely get a group around and everybody go back to the pavilion. Let's see what the rules are. Healthy body, healthy mind, take care, practice self-care. Says uh, parks open during daylight hours. All ATVs and snowmobiles are prohibited. All vehicles must be parked in this area. All pets must be kept on a leash at all times in the shelter area. No alcohol is permitted, no littering, no camping, no open fires except in designated areas, grills and fire rings, didn't see any of those. Um, no hunting or trapping. Fishing is permitted, but Ohio fishing license is required. Very cool, so you can come out here and go fishing. 